Hey, good morning everybody. My name is Sri and I'm going to talk about preview environments with GitLab using CloudSeed. GitLab is the one DevOps platform. Teams use it for their entire DevOps lifecycle. That is right from project planning all the way to the development, the CI automation, deployments, security and so much more. CloudSeed itself enables preview environments using GitLab. What is CloudSeed? CloudSeed is an open source collaboration between Google Cloud and GitLab and we try to target the most common use cases that joint users of GitLab and GCP address. This happens to be the web application APIs and microservice deployment use cases. We want to make sure that this set of user is served and served well and we strive to enable ridiculously simple deployments from GitLab onto Cloud Run. Let's talk about preview environments. What are preview environments? Every piece of code change should be deployed. A new environment needs to be spun up so that the team can review the change and it should be inexpensive to spin up and spin down these environments. So let's see how CloudSeed makes this a reality. I'll start by creating a new project. And let me just get myself a Node.js Express web application from template. I create a project and this will import for me an Express.js web application. This is my starting point. So assume your team has some kind of web application. It doesn't matter what. In this example, I'm using Node. With GitLab, what you can do is you can navigate to the infrastructure Google Cloud page. And you can set up the deployment credentials by generating service accounts. Let me do that really quick. You can optionally configure which regions you want to deploy to. So let me say that all my deployments should go to Europe West 1. Set that up. And then I enable Cloud Run via an MR. This enables the Cloud Run and related services f on my GCP account. And then it creates a branch with a commit that enables a simple deployment pipeline as well. Let me create the MR, review the changes. It includes a pipeline. I'm familiar with this. So what I'll do is I'll approve right away. And I say merge when pipeline succeeds. While this pipeline takes a while to execute and complete, let's have a look at Google Cloud Run itself. What is Cloud Run? The tagline here is container to production in seconds. Cloud Run is the deployment target that we're going to use for this example. And all the preview environments that we create are going to get created as Cloud Run services. So we deploy to Cloud Run. Cloud Run lets you deploy containerized applications. So here are some examples of the languages they support. Go, Python, Java, Node, etc. Uh, and it's a fully managed serverless program. So my team or I don't have to set up a cluster, connect the cluster, maintain the cluster, nothing of that sort. Google takes care of it. Another key feature is that it's they've got a tremendous free tier and uh, you can find that over here. I believe if you follow this link you can figure out on the pricing and costs and how that works. But they have a tremendous free tier and they don't charge for stale environments. So for example, you have a service that is no longer being used, you won't be built for that. Chances are if it is a, if it is a review environment, you will not be uh, built in the first place because uh, you'll be well within the free tier. Anyway, that's that. Uh, here's what's happened. While I was explaining uh, CloudSeed, we have a pipeline that's running with one job that says deploy to Cloud Run. Let's have a look at the job. 
it's running okay now I'm going to just uh, play the role of a product owner and I will say that this web application I'll create a new issue I will say this application should say the words hello world I create one issue and I'll create another issue that says oh no it should not say hello word it should say foobar so I create these two issues and I've got two issues in my list now imagine a scenario where I'm a team of several people and several of these people will pick up different issues so here we've got two issues so you can imagine that two developers will pick up these issues and work on them in parallel right uh, when that happens let's have a look at the MR so when that happens we want to sp uh, we want to spin up two preview environments for the work done in both of these issues so both of these issues should have preview environments of their own um, my MR has gotten merged so if I go to my uh, main branch I can see that there's a GitLab CI YAML file that has got the Cloud Run deployment pipeline lovely okay what I will do now is I will play the role of the two developers so first I'll play developer number one who should make the web application say foobar I'll follow the standard GitLab flow I'll create an MR which creates a branch for me and uh, I will edit that branch so let's say that I want to code and I want to code with the web IDE so I spin up this web IDE and let's have a look at this application I've got a view view looks good welcome to title lovely public bin all right I have a fair idea of what this application does so if I go to routes I will see ah, it says express no 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 I don't want it to say express my product owner wants me to say foobar so I put the text foobar and I create a commit that says say foobar this is what developer number one has done we have developer number two who picks up another issue and they are also working in the GitLab flow so they create an MR where it spins up a feature branch specifically for this piece of work and within that feature branch they also open the web IDE and they start working now of course I'm using the web IDE for the demo you could use any kind of IDE uh, that you prefer web IDE is just convenient anyway this is developer number two and they must say hello world so they update the text to say hello world that's that so now what do we have let's take a quick review of what's going on we've got two issues both of these issues have got two open MRs in draft mode right and these MRs have got code commits both of them and pipelines are running for those code commits meanwhile what we have right now is we have the we have the environment I believe <coughs> we have no environment right now or we have actually three environments that's good uh, and we've got pipelines running on all three of them so this was we have a stopped environment uh, this was when we introduced the pipeline in the first place so you can see that this is this environment has got a web application running saying welcome to express and three and we've got three let's say available environments uh, which have got uh, let's say which represent the environments represent each branch so the master branch which is which is not modified the main branch which has not been modified that will say welcome to express that's expected that's one environment but now both of these MRs have got pipelines executing so the first one was where developer one worked upon the application and said foobar they've got a pipeline running and the second is where the developer two uh, worked on the web application and made another change where they said welcome to hello world or say hello world something like that and that's got a pipeline running as well so what we're going to see now is that both of these pipelines are going to execute 
and they're going to generate environments and these preview environments will be made available so this is the foobar environment it just showed up let's see if it works seems to work so it contains the specific changes made in the foobar branch and shows them to me let's say I'm the QA person now I want to review I have this environment right here and another place you will find something of this button is the merge request view so if we go to the merge request view and if I go to foobar you will see that this view application so merge request view is important because this is where the code reviewers and the team will be working on so they can review the changes they can leave comments but they can also write in this very same uh, view check out the preview application that says foobar so we have a foobar preview application we have another oh we have another pipeline that has succeeded so if I go to merge request number three that says hello world it also has a view application lovely and uh, if I refresh the environments or I don't even need to refresh excellent and I already see the environment over here to say hello world so there you have it uh, with a simple pipeline we are spinning up environments per branch so as and when updates are pushed onto this branch these environments get updated um, they're available in the merge request view for team members to review and pass feedback um, and once it's merged they automatically get stopped and finally because the deployment target is Google Cloud Run it's immensely cost-effective you're not spending any money in having these uh, low uh, low traffic or low volume services running again I cannot speak for Google Cloud Run but based on what they know what I know uh, they have incredible pricing with a free tier and you don't have to delete any environment um, if it is not being used you don't get billed for it that being said I'm going to give a disclaimer please check out the Google Cloud Run pricing yourself don't take my word for it but this is just my analysis of it and there you have it we have preview environments running with CloudSeed where GitLab uh, project your project in GitLab gets deployed to Cloud Run based on the changes that you make that's all for this talk thank you so much